Hey. Stop you in your tracks. You were going to say something no, for her. No, I mean, I just, uh, I saw that we were recording. I was like, oh, that yeah. yeah. We're doing it. Mm-hmm. Here we are. We are 15 days away from the election. Okay, but first, I just I just want to offer my condolences to you. Uh, oh, yeah. Because the Mets uh, lost last night. You know, it's more of a celebration of, you know, when pe- someone dies and they're like, I, that person would want to celebrate their life rather than like mourn their loss. Wow. And nobody predicted the Mets would have gone as far as they did. That's beautiful. So I appreciate your condolences. Right. But, uh, I think it was it was a great season. Yeah. And honestly, if the Dodgers lose to the Yankees, they will consider it a failure of a season. Uh the who will? The Dodgers will? Uh, the Dodgers, because they they have so many big stars yeah. that if if they the, if they don't win the World Series, it'll be a flop. But don't the Yankees the have Mets, a ton of huge starts? To, you know, well, oh, they'll consider it a flop, too. But I think for the Mets, I'm just talking about the Mets. Yeah. The Mets will consider it. A, it I mean, even though they fell short, it's a it's a successful season right. because of expectations. Who are you going to be um, rooting for? You know, I will root for the Yankees. I was a Yankee fan. I think we may have talked about this. I was a Yankee fan during those Don Mattingly years. Oh, yeah. Ricky Ricky Henderson years when they were pretty bad. Oh, that's great. That's so you you weren't a Mets fan in like 86? It's weird. I was a Mets fan. uh, I was a Mets fan in 86 for sure. Okay. Um, So that's what shifted you then maybe. No, because I was a Mets fan before I was a Yankee fan. Like, I rooted oh. for the Mets, uh, you know, during the Lenny Dykstra years and when, like, Ron Hodges was their mm. catcher and they had Rusty Staub. And yes. it's weird. Somehow I moved to, I think I actually moved. I was a Met fan until 86, 87, 88. And then I think the cockiness turned me off a little bit. <laughs> so I decided to root for a bad Yankee team. <laughs> oh, that is, and says something about bad. the character. I think that's, it does. I think it's I beautiful though. I don't know if it is. I think it's a little sad. You like the underdog. Pathetic. You like the underdog. I suppose. I mean, it's more fun when the underdog wins though, right? Most. Well, but when they lose for decades and now the Yankees really haven't won in a while. Mm. Yeah, for the Yankees. <laughs> when, yeah, did they, for the, exactly. when did they last win the World Series? Do you know? I'm not sure. Uh, when they won it, that's a good question. Well, they were last in it in like 2009 or something, so oh. it's a pretty long time ago. Yeah. I mean, the Mets were in it in 2015, so. Huh. Anyway. Well, we'll see. On to more, even more depressing stuff. Yes. So uh, Donald Trump has his uh, end message, you know, the message he's putting out there at the end of the campaign, and it's about golfer Arnold Palmer. Yeah, this is pretty wild. He he made a speech, I guess, at an airport that was named after oh, Arnold Palmer. La Trobe, right. That's where he's from in uh, Pennsylvania. Oh, okay. And he uh, just started talking about how Arnold Palmer had a huge penis. Right. He was like, they went into the locker room and the, all the other golfers were like, oh my God. <laughs> so I also, do you, I didn't, I don't know. I never pictured golfers like being in a gang shower like that. I, I Well, I, that's, I think that's a great point and that's, that's a fair point. And I was talking to Kathy Egan, our yeah, you know, uh, our <laughs> former colleague. I'm, she glad was you, all, I'm glad you got, got with her on this. <laughs> Yeah, well, she brought it up, and I actually hadn't heard it yet. And she was like, do golfers even break a sweat? Like, do they have yeah. locker rooms? Right. So I think that's a fair – Well, see, if, I, I, if somebody's going to fact check that story, yeah. which I'm sure it's false. Yes, has to – well, yes. But because uh, – yeah, what a crazy thing. It must be false, and you just made it up. Because I would believe – yeah, I would. they get sweaty, I'm sure. They're out in the sun. Yeah, but, if it's hot out, yeah. But I would imagine – I don't know. Uh, golf is a little more genteel than so many other sports. You would think that they would be, you know, and rich. stalls. Is that a euphemism for? Uh, yeah, rich. Yeah. I mean, there are a lot of these clubs. Like you'd think everybody would get their own shower, exactly, and that nobody. Although when I went to the Y, 
you would see stuff not necessarily <laughs> in the shower. I remember those those you know yeah as a young young kid being sure. kind of Whoa, shocked yes. by certain things. Yeah, it's scary. Not that I was child. looking, but <laughs> uh, I know. Well, you can't avoid it when you're on that level. As <laughs> no, uh, some people just leave it out there. Uh, yeah, yeah. Old men, they man. No they just, they just, Old men, right? It's pretty wild. They're just like peacocking. Uh, <laughs> wait, but but uh, but that's the why. That's the why. That's not you know. Augusta or whatever. Right. Um, and then the other angle on this is, uh, well, there was some writer, I guess it was that guy Schmidt for the New York times that had an article about mm. whether Trump's, uh, you know, is going downhill mm. yeah, in terms of his mental health or not mental health, but whether he's kind of cognitive uh, ability, cognitive. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. That was the word I was looking for. And that apparently when you get older, you're, your editing of yourself mm. goes away. So he he found out that Trump was like cursing like forty nine percent more than he has in the That's past, really and that could be a sign of like yeah. having a little senility. No, I don't know if senility is a word people use. But yeah, it's, it's a show that he's kind of aging. Yeah, it kind of scares not, me. Not like, what the hell kind of crazy shit am I going to say if I'm already like, I don't know, like this. Totally. I, I, actually, well, I'm pretty. I, I you keep, don't curse I, that much. Uh, no, no, I really don't. But I also feel like people don't like cursing mm -hmm. in general. Like if you go to the broad country, mm. like found, like like I remember from doing TV, I was always told like we think it's funny to say the f bomb occasionally, but like most Americans actually really get turned off by that type of thing. Mm. Yeah, maybe so, I know, uh, but Trump has his own people who love, uh, you know, cr crudity, crudeness, crude. Well, that's the thing. I mean, he's kind of going after men. That's his big base audience. Right, right. Well, because he also, talking about his crudeness, he made that speech at the uh, Al Smith dinner, which is like a big sort of Catholic Oh, right. Event, yeah, they do that every year. Everybody goes and they kind of make uh, jokes about each other. Uh, right, and, and sometimes it's pretty witty, but it, it it doesn't seem to be anymore. And usually, it's both candidates. Uh, but yeah, Kamala didn't appear, but it it, it it's just it, what's crazy to me about it is there are so many jokes made about how oh Trump is indicted, ha 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 ha, and then right. like Eric <laughs> Adams, he's indicted too, ha 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 ha. Yeah, and it's like, and they were also made some joke about um i guess kamala harris's husband had cheated on his former wife with the nanny maybe which oh, right, i didn't even right. know about and trump was like that's too low i shouldn't have done that i told these oh, guys God. who wrote this stuff this stuff for me oh and he also admitted that some of his writers were fox news people that's hilarious i which mean it's actually really inappropriate if they're if they're really oh that's a good point i didn't even i don't even network. think about he it actually anymore. said i'm not supposed to say this i shouldn't say this but yeah yeah. Well, e even the like cheating thing, I feel like uh, that makes sense to make fun of, I guess, but, but just making fun of these politicians, you know, being charged with all these crimes. Yeah. It just feels like what, what is happening? How are all these people in this room funny. laughing at this? This is, I know it's terrible. Yeah. Well, the other thing that came out of that big Al Smith dinner was that she, because she didn't go because Harris didn't go. She submitted a video with that um, Mary Catherine Gallagher. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What's the name of the actress? Oh, uh, yeah, Molly Shannon. Molly Shannon, right, right. So they did a little sketch. Yeah. Because it's a Catholic, because he was, oh, right, the, yeah. you know, Al Smith was the first Catholic presidential candidate, I believe. I think, yeah. Um, anyway, but a lot of people, I'm sure many people don't even know who that character is because they're too young or oblivious to remember it on snl so people just there were a lot of people on former twitter yeah on x that were like really offended oh my gosh it. really isn't that ridiculous oh that's so funny because yeah. i had read like oh she the the joke that played best for the room was her saying What's something like there was some joke was like uh are, are we going to be fact checked tonight and she was oh, like right. yes by jesus <laughs> right that was very funny yeah but i guess people thought it was blasphemous right yeah which which is kind of crazy for that to be offensive versus like trump uh i think he said 
shit a bunch or something. Or he did. He says it all the time, and he called her a shit VP. Yeah. Well, there was some article in the Times the other day too about this. About and you know they were so weird. The article because it was like, oh, he said this offensive stuff, and they don't tell you what he said. And I'm like standing right. down. I'm going it's to the so pa- paragraph. They should just write they it. They always do stuff like this. The Times, it's but this so was dumb. particularly like like uh, showed it more because they seemed like they felt so awkward about writing about bad words. God. And it was just like a four letter word uh, that he I called her. And I was like, that. I was like, I thought that it was word? bitch, maybe. Oh, I thought oh, it was. Oh, you thought it was the C word? Thought, well, right? C U. Uh, t- yeah. Right? Is that four? Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. that's, I was like, that's from, pay-, but it wasn't that. Maybe they, maybe they were almost like uh, trying to get the reader to think it could have been one of those other words. Maybe. Maybe. Just keep, so, keep you reading. Keep people's imaginations going. Yeah. Oof. But it is weird. I guess all these papers have standards. Yeah. Where, where they have whatever. I think it was recently. Standards and practices. But I've noticed on the news, like on MSNBC, there was some documentary that was on. Mm. And they had salty. They they used the F word and the S word all the time. Yeah. So they they do seem to be loosening it up. It seems so dumb to censor that uh yeah i mean if it's after a certain time yeah no i i agree especially when you're talking about news when it's the thing that these people actually said like you can't hide that from us no you know um yeah so i i don't know what to to make of this uh you know turn for trump because i feel like his whole strategy at the beginning like we saw him in the first debate he was very restrained and really trying to be it seems kind of boring kind of like this new new trump where we're, we forget about his old like you know idiocy as as much as we yeah. might have and then you know kamala in her debate she set him off uh with yeah. making fun of his rallies and then he like from then on it's like he's gone back to his old craziness and now at the end of it he's ramping it up rather than, so that makes well, me violent wonder. talk too yeah, yeah so what does that mean does that mean their internal polling is actually really bad for him or is he or is it just there's no rhyme or reason to it and he's just that's a great like, question worked up and isn't really you know is just saying whatever the heck he wants to say well like, it's that whole 4d chess thing you know where they're like 3d you know right right where it's like is it is he playing chess is he is it 4d chess right right or well is it just yeah. like is he just a crazy guy doing right that? well i don't even mean to imply that it could be 4d chess but he could be playing checkers or he he could be like eating checkers you know what i mean he may just also I have a feeling that he gets really jealous when Harris gets a lot of airplay. Yeah. And gets a lot of attention. So it might just be emotional. Like And he he was so angry when Biden yeah. got dumped because Biden wasn't really getting as much attention as he was. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So now that he's getting so much less, maybe it's just his way of like getting on the news. Yeah. And I bet his the people who handle him are telling him not to be that crazy, because that's always what happened with him in the in the past elections. Yeah, is he would win if he would stay a little bit disciplined. Mm-hmm. But the more he talks and the more he's on TV, the less it reminds people why they don't like him. Yeah, he's really like uh, so, you know trying to remind people now. It might be good for her. I mean. Well, that which brings us to this, you know, this thing I did this past weekend. I, I oh, yeah. actually volunteered for uh, Kamala Harris, you know, Walls ticket. I went down to uh, not down, but across to uh, Allentown in oh, Pennsylvania. Yeah. Billy Joel. So we, did, yes, it's, yeah. uh, I was thinking of the whole bus ride. Nice that beat, and uh, oh, yeah, and it was oh, interesting. So we just like. Uh, Knocked on doors. I had kind of like a canvassing buddy. Um, and it was pretty interesting. What do it's, people say? Well, I mean, the thing is, we were knocking on the doors of people that were leaning Harris mostly. Okay. Because at this point in the campaign, they're not trying to convince people anymore. They're just trying yeah. to I mean, I get feel people like to vote. That's the name of the game in general these days. Like, who, these, yeah. these supposed swing voters are like. Although. Although the crazy thing was on the bus ride there, the guy was like 
there really are undecided voters and you will probably meet them. And we did. And there were independent voters and there were people that were undecided. Independent was, though. Independent almost always means I'm Republican, but too ashamed to admit it. I don't know. It's interesting. Not necessarily now because I'm not positive because there is the Bernie Sanders independent too. I guess people uh, who just don't like the Hillary, you know, that, that side of the establishment. I guess part so. Of I'm the like Democratic- becoming that person. I like hate the Democrats That's more a- than I've ever hated yeah. them. I, I am oh, shocked. Wow. I was never like that. I was always like, sort of like, all right, Bernie people, like, I don't even disagree with you, but you're freaking out about like just like a sort of a, a policy point, even though they both agree on the end goal. And, uh, you know, but now I'm like, I don't know. I'm just Democrats now I'm there. kind of like, you know, just pinching my nose. Yeah, and, and 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 supporting them wholeheartedly just because of Trump. Oh but, yeah, yeah. But after yeah, after the to. election, um, but anyway, there were a lot of people that were kind of it was kind of shocking, still undecided, and it wasn't what you'd expect to. Mm. Like it was like you know some Latino people that were like not sure, and people were like, I usually vote democratic but i just can't say right now i'm still thinking about it it's i do think it's a lot of it's just like going to the supermarket and paying like four hundred dollars for groceries and just blaming it on the current administration right right and they were like on the bus they were like if people bring that up just say like inflation is a world problem yeah it's not it's not an American problem, and actually, it's better here than most of the world, which yeah. is correct. I read also the other day that uh, groceries are actually uh, costs uh, as much as they did now as they did in like 2019. Just I guess I based on that. I guess based on um, you know wages that have risen, but I, I mean you know that doesn't happen for everybody. Yeah. Even if and it's I'm happening sure part of it is like stuff that the Republicans did too, like pave over you know farmland. Um, and, like put up malls and like then the supply is less and the uh, prices are higher. Oh, yeah. Well, I think a big yeah. part of the reason like it's been able to uh, do what it did is because, uh, you know, uh, capital is so concentrated in the hands of a few companies. And when there are yeah, a few companies, totally. you know, my big conspiracy theory is no, that there's a, a lot of um, price fixing going on. Uh, have, I told, have I told you about this before? My little pet theory? Uh, I have her. Uh, go for okay, it. Well, you could say it again, there, even if you did. Oh, I don't remember. Well, there was an article that came out not long ago in uh, ProPublica, who's just does some of the best journalism out there nowadays. Yeah. And it was about this computer program uh, that was used by um, uh, <laughs> that was used by uh, landlords, like big companies that uh, uh, do rentals and stuff. And they all used it. And basically what the computer program helped them do was price fix, was all do the optimum price and follow one another. So it was like they weren't actually meeting in a dark room and talking about what, how they right. were going to control prices. They were doing it that way. Well, AI, yeah. Right. And AI can like help that. with that too. Exactly. And, but, well, I know the real estate market, Did we? I think we might even so, talk yeah. about that is kind of run like that as well. So I am wondering, like, if it's happening in this industry, how is it not happening in other industries? Absolutely. And even if it's not like the mo- – like you're saying, it, it may not be this direct sort of price fixing, but if you – if there are a few companies and, you know, Target and Amazon don't fight too much and we'll both raise the prices here and we won't undercut each other too much because we would, we'll both lose more than we would gain if we start playing that game. Uh, I just think that's what ha- what's happening. And, and, you know, the whole great thing about capitalism is uh, competition. And, you know, when you have capital accumulating, um, amongst, you know, into monops- mon- monopsonies, basically, uh, you crush competition and that hurts consumers. And we need someone that will go and break up some of these big companies because it's good for everyone except for maybe the ultra rich. Right, right. Totally. You know, I know it will save capitalism. That's the thing. That'll save capitalism. Yeah. All these people are like, oh, capitalism, capitalism. I'm like, no, what you're, you're like, you know, uh, yeah, yeah, you're against Well, at capitalism. a certain point, you know, if you don't have any choices, prices will always go up. Competition is what 
capitalism is all about supposedly yes, yes. But well to once, keep those prices down because they're competing for the right consumer. Exactly. Yeah, yeah but that's but the owners of the companies are now they they're able to lobby the government more than anybody that too so they that that's how they keep you know they keep they they prevent competition essentially yep definitely unless they're sued you know yeah ah uh, i don't know man so w- any um any feelings just about where we are in the in the election any do you feel like uh i was feeling feel like, like kamala's doing pretty well i was feeling like she was going to lose yeah i was too but maybe now that trump is acting so crazy she's got a shot it's just things are so close in so many um states that it's like i don't know yeah yeah i guess we'll see um, I I do think now uh, it is about the turnout and it is about the excitement. So hopefully mm-hmm. more people will be uh, involved and will get out there and vote. What do you? Volunteer. What's your take on uh, Israel Palestine playing into this? Do you think it's a factor? I do think it's probably a factor. It's 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 really unfortunate. Yeah, and there were articles just about. I mean, not to be too cynical about it, but just that that like. Biden and Harris were hoping it would not be an issue still right at this point. Well, I think so Michigan Netanyahu wants it to be an issue because he, he wants her to does. lose. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. I don't know what percentage of the voters, you know, how much that will affect things in Michigan, but I know right. my old employer Michael Moore is going kind of crazy. He thinks Trump will win Michigan. Yeah, I mean, I think he could. I, I think it's yeah. rather foolish that uh, Harris doesn't come out and just take a little bit stronger stance because just if you look at, I don't know, the polls I've seen, people are are pretty against what Israel is doing, so it's just like you don't have to fully change policy even just be a little more vociferous and maybe you can win those people over i think it's honestly though i think it's more a risk of there will some be some people who will decidedly n- not to vote for her over this but i think the la- the larger well cer- certainly some right yeah but i yeah. think the larger risk is that it'll just sort of depress turnout a little bit it'll just be like people that are a little like yeah, no, we should. She should get elected, but they're just kind of like, eh, you know, they're not as excited to vote for her because of it. Yeah, you know what I mean. That's to mm-hmm. me, that's the bigger concern. But we'll see. I mean, maybe it's just we'll be, maybe it'll all be fine. <laughs> I hope. Well, she Minnesota wins. could get affected too because they. Oh, also, really? They also have like a large Muslim population. I don't know about as much as Michigan, but I guess the Tim Walls effect will help there. But that would be terrible. If- yeah. If she lost that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it depends. You know, who knows? Because maybe she'll be okay in Georgia and North Carolina. And then, well, that's then, like, the big thing. And yeah. like, it, it won't matter. Um, A Washington Post poll today said she's going to win Georgia or at least predict, you know. Oh, really? Oh, well, see. That's where it's I standing. mean, if so she that wins that Georgia, that would it's be pretty over. Right. Because then. Unless he wins Pennsylvania. Right. Right. Unless he wins Pennsylvania. Yeah, that's true. But with me canvassing in Pennsylvania, I can't see how she's going to lose. I know. I think you're right. You're changing minds. I, you know what? I'll vote. Who, what should I, I do? Tell me. I couldn't anything. help the mats. I couldn't help the mats. Yes. But, but you can. Yeah. Yeah. You should have gone. A, that, I should have. They should have let you Well, I went to a game. Yeah. And I went to that one game they won. So I should have gone to LA. Uh, and they'd still be in it. Oh, well. Was like, oh, the game was here last night they lost last night that was in la oh yeah it was here on friday oh yeah they went to that game i heard the the fireworks last night they love uh, oh fireworks. yeah oh my god i'm sure your kids uh it's, you know work. they're not that close they don't mind they're that. not it's okay. downtown we're not like that close to downtown but you can still hear them anyway all right well i think we're gonna wrap it up your levels are a little low I hope whoa okay. really oh, now that was fine well i just came I closer know. i was just speaking oh, very well. low oh yeah it's like yeah. Super, super low yikes yeah yeah we have to be careful okay hopefully they're okay i just hear myself fine you now know? you're fine yeah oh is my is my gain really was low maybe oh, maybe darn it it was low but that doesn't change right you're not fiddling um yeah. well i just turned it up let me turn it up a little okay. more That's yeah right. but my but my anyway it's too late man. It's too late <laughs> Oof. ouch sorry everyone <laughs> all right 
Okay, well, we'll, uh, well, let's see what happens. It's going to be an interesting week. And, uh, and interesting times. Yes, exactly. <laughs> the titular word. Yes. All right. Talk soon. Fuck man. yeah. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>